team, welcome back to more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in the last episode. We <laughs> we did a lot of subquests, um, basically fighting all of Kami's trainees. And now in this episode we're going to go check up on Gohan to see how his uh, survival course is going. Huh. Seems like he managed to survive after all. Armed with the knowledge that a pair of powerful Saiyans will arrive on Earth in one year's time, the warriors began to prepare. Okay. Oh yeah, that's an Meanwhile, update they did. They up they updated the game to begin his and they uh, upped Goku or they fixed the load time, so they made it much much faster. Snake way. So I'm really excited to see if they made it as fast After as they said they did because that went by really fast. He finally reached his destination. Man, this is tough. Oh, man. At this rate, it's going to take me way longer than a year to get to King Kai's place. Wait a sec. Hey, that's the tail. Yes, I did it. I made it to the end. Uh, wait. There's, there's nothing here. Huh? Oh, what's that round thing up there? That must be where King Kai is! Hell yeah! Yep, no mistake about it! There's even a house! So if this is King Kai's place, where is he? Ah! Who... who are you? Hey! Know what you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Huh? No, oh, maybe you were too starstruck and didn't hear me. Man, you're hopeless. All right, let's see if this one tickles your funny bone. Hello? I've got a joke to tell. Huh? No one's there. Guess I better... Yeah, the phone! <laughs> Nailed it! Wait, huh? What's going on? What's wrong with you? Why are you even here? Well, I... I was hoping you could train me. Train you? Get out of here! I can't train someone who doesn't have a sense of humor! Oh, come on, King Kai, I'm begging you! Well, I guess I could. If you pass my little test, if you can make a master comedian like me laugh, then I'll train you. Wait, you want me to tell you a joke? Mm. I have no idea what happens if you tell uh, these two jokes he just told before, so I'm not going to do that, but we have to select option number two. Uh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> hey! You laughed! I saw it! <laughs> You're pretty good! I'll give you that! Alright, we got King Kai's Soul Emblem. He has his own little community. I believe his community <coughs> is that little muscle emblem right there. Yeah, training community. So, right over here, I guess, if you really wanted to, we could put some Soul Emblems down there. Um, however, there's really nothing we could put down there. Um, I don't know, does he have a conversation with King Yama? Figured. Alright, um. Let's put him. <laughs> let's fuck it, let's put him on Master Roshi. Alright. I will teach you the ultimate joke. Nah, I'm done with jokes. I came here to train. You came here to train? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm going to need to test you, though. I need to see what I'm dealing with here. Great, you got it. Ah! <sighs> Who is this guy? Very 
well. I will train you. <clears throat> this guy just might actually have what it takes. He might be able to handle the Kaioken, and maybe even my greatest technique. Goku finally arrives at King Kai's planet and begins his training. Meanwhile, Gohan has grown stronger thanks to the cruel demands placed upon him in the wilderness. That went by pretty fast. Faster than the others. Mean, green, teaching machine. Alright. <sighs> Wonder what I'm gonna do today. Maybe I can hunt some dinosaurs in this area. They can be pretty dangerous, so I need to be careful. Alright, so let's go find a dinosaur. Found one! I was gonna say, is my controller dead? <laughs> I don't think so. Hey! There's one! Alright, it's so basically dinosaurs, dangerous. All they do is really knock you back, but even still. They can just be really annoying. Got him! Grandiosaurus. Yay! Let's start a timer. Huh? <laughs> Looks like the pathetic whiny kid who couldn't get his own apples is long gone. Y you're the guy that left me here. The name's Piccolo. Don't forget it. P Piccolo? Uh, wait a minute. He's not the same Piccolo my dad fought a long time ago, is he? I'm gonna bet your dad told you about me. Which means you know just how terrifying I am, right? Oh! Uh... Yeah, I remember him saying something about Demon King Piccolo being a really bad guy. Alright, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? Gohan gradually learned to control his key. Under the harsh tutelage pick. Okay. Uh, <coughs> did it! There you go. Sorry, I wasn't looking at. I wasn't looking at. I didn't realize I was pressing energy. X. <laughs> Basically, all it said was, "Hey, Piccolo's teaching Gohan how to control his key." <laughs> you won't be so happy for long. I'm gonna go talk to me once you're ready. Right, go talk to me once you're ready. <coughs> Now you know flies go. The hang of this flying thing. But, but I'm still kind of scared of sparring with Mr. Piccolo. Before we have to spar with Mr. Piccolo, we have a subquest over here. I wish Mr. Piccolo. Um. Are you okay, ma'am? This robot's harassing me. Help! Beep beep. Foggy future. I'm a little scared, but I have to help that woman, all right? Time to go. All right, now we just got to do with these robots. We're level three, and I believe. Yeah, level three, and there's one level assist robot. There's nothing bad about it. That one. Got him. Phew! Can't believe I was able to take Thanks. it out. Well done. Uh, it's not safe for you here, ma'am. There's all sorts of dangerous things yes. out here. 
I'm well aware of that. But there's something I absolutely must have. I was hoping to s send my assistants to this place. Heavens. But of course, they're complaining of stomach aches and headaches. I don't know why. I keep them around. That's why I've come here um, alone. What does he uh, keep here to find? Uh, oh. My, you're a curious one. This is what I'm after. Huh? It's a stone? Hmm. There's no ordinary stone. It possesses the power I need to strengthen my crystal ball. So you're a fortune teller. Oh, oh, oh. Indeed, I am fortune teller Baba. Your father and I go way back. What? My dad? You know my dad? Yes. Yes, I've known him since he was a child. Wow. <laughs> I won't say any more of our relationship. If you want to know about it, you should ask your father when he comes back. Now then, back to my crystal ball. I intend to use this stone to power up the Earth's hmm. future. Recently, I haven't been able to see much whenever I try to look into the planet's future. I fear I may fail to learn the impending tragedy, so I was hoping to use the stone to increase the crystal ball's Indeed. power. I know, I can test my ball's new power to see in your future. I do Thank owe you, you for so saving much. me. Thank you, but I'm actually kind of in a hurry. Oh, it will take no time at all. I, and I would, I, would, I would take this free reading if I were you. My readings normally cost a fortune. <laughs> we're talking 10 million zenny per reading. I'm willing to waive that fee just once. Oh, you weren't kidding. That is a fortune. Okay, I'll, tell, I'll take hmm. the reading. What? What do you see? You're kind of scaring me. Um. Please say something. You're stressing me out. Your future will no doubt be filled with hardship after hardships. What? Hardships? Your life will be an uphill battle. I'll be honest. I've never seen a nice life punishing before. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. A very strong light at the end of the tunnel, so it's not all doom and gloom. Goodbye. All right. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? It just increases its power. I suppose this means something unbelievable is going to happen. Hmm. Darkness. I suppose the future is filled with darkness as well, but there was a visible light. Perhaps that boy's future and this planet are connected yes. on some deep level. Well, they're certainly not connected to the, this boy is Goku's son after all. Whatever tragedy may fall this planet, I'm sure it will be in safe hands. I expect three great things from you, Gohan. Alright. Awesome. Let's see. I guess I can use some more training. And now after that, now we can I'm go train scared. with Piccolo. I'm gonna do it. I've got to. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't run home crying, huh? Well, let's get right to it. Prepare yourself. Um, okay. I guess while we're doing this, I can go into who Fortune Teller Baba is. Don't look. Feel. Fortune Teller Think Baba is a, obviously a fortune teller that helped it. Goku when he was a little kid in Dragon Ball. He went to, uh, Goku went to Fortune Teller Baba in order to find out where the four star Dragon Ball was in, uh, in order to get it back because it is his grandpa's prized possession. Uh, his grandpa's prized possession. Uh, while meeting Fortune Teller Baba, uh, she challenged him to a. She challenged him to a tournament. And, uh, and, and if he were to win the tournament, he would be able to get one free reading. Uh, to find out where it is, because obviously, as Baba just said, her fortunes cost 10 million zenny. Goku agreed, because obviously it's Goku. Um, and alongside he got the reading, he also got uh, to see his grandpa one last time. There go. Uh, when, he the, when he beat Grandpa Gohan, he was able to find the four-star Dragon Ball, and after a sad departure with his grandpa, gave him a big hug, cried, and went off to find it. Since then, fortune teller Baba and Goku have been good friends, oh, wow, and wow, wow. he goes to her whenever she huh. wants to find a stronger I guess you're party. no longer the little crybaby you were six months ago. <laughs> hey, I was wondering. You fought my dad a long time ago, right? I did, and I've still got a score to settle with him. Once the Saiyans are gone, your dad's next. But you know, my dad told me something. He said, you're not like the old Piccolo. He said, you don't seem like such a bad guy. <laughs> I think my dad's right. Even though my mom and grandpa are still scared of you.
Just shut your mouth and try to get some sleep. I'm gonna put you through hell tomorrow. Uh, okay. <sighs> Stupid kid. <laughs> All right, ready when you are, King Kai. Now. Let's see you form a spirit bomb and use it to destroy this extra fast whip. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Wow! I, I can't believe it. Well done, Goku. Thanks. It wasn't easy. It's like I keep saying. The spirit bomb is formed by gathering energy from everything around you and concentrating it into a ball. See, I believe he said this like four times in the powerful, anime. <laughs> blow it up and you'll blow the very planet you're trying to protect to pieces. To pieces. And that's why you should only Goku. use it as a last resort. Pieces. And only once for that matter. Hmm. Just as I thought, he very well might be able to go through the entire training regiment. Regiment. Some time passed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Gohan's attempts training with Piccolo on Earth continued. This isn't break time. Remember this. You eat, sleep, fight. That's your life now. Don't you dare forget it. B but... What if I just... That's enough! Unless you want to die, you have to get stronger. Stronger than me, and stronger than the Saiyans. I, I know, it's just... Less complaining, more fighting! <sighs> we'll eat for now, but then it's back to business. All I do is train when I'm not eating or sleeping. I'll die before I get very strong. There's no way I'm gonna be as strong as my dad or Mr. Piccolo. It's impossible. Wait, now's my chance. I can sneak home. Uh, all right. I, I think I'll go looking for something to eat. <laughs> One thing that we don't understand Mr. about Piccolo Piccolo's until really is later, but I don't really see a harm in describing it right if I now. Keep up his training. There's not going to be much left in me. or well, Piccolo. I'm just going to get in the way. Oh boy. Well, I mean, to be fair, we already found out that he was a Namekian earlier. Um, Piccolo is a Namekian, meaning Namekians have a heightened sense of hearing than that of a normal humans. Twice wow, the sense of this hearing. This energy is incredible. So, uh. After Gohan just mistakenly said out loud, Hey, I'm gonna go look for something, or I'm gonna go home. And then he said, I'm gonna go look for something to eat. Piccolo is, well, what do you think? <laughs> he's like, oh, great, he's gonna run home. But what we have to do is we have to go to the world map. And the South Beast Mountain is unlocked, same with the Central Plains. And all we gotta do is just go to Goku's house. I wonder how Mom's doing. Eh. Also, funny, uh, something really cool is down here. This is someone's house? I wonder if anyone's here. We have this. A little memory. With their vehicle out of fuel, Goku, Boma, and Oolong walk across the wasteland. They eventually stop to rest, and then it's at Yamcha and his friend Poir, bandits who call the wasteland home, approach Goku and the others demand their money and capsules. Goku attempts to fend off Yamcha, but his empty stomach prevents him from fighting at his best. Yamcha retaliates with his wolf fang fist, but Bulma catches his eye and retreats. I don't hurry, Mr. Piccolo's gonna find out what I did! Oh, I thought I could, like, break through Yamcha's house, but I guess you can't. Let's 
just head home. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, do you? I know. You're Goku's kid, right? Uh, yeah. I'm Gohan. Are you a friend of my dad? You bet. We've been on all sorts of adventures together. Whoa. I'm poor. You may have heard about me from Goku. No, not a word. Well, that's Goku for you. But you must have heard about Yamcha, right? Nope. Nothing it. Of course you have. Wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, what brings you here? Uh, that's right! I'm preparing a meal for Yamcha, and this place has the best ingredients around. So I'd better get back to work. I have a few more items to pick up. Sure. All this talk of food is making me hungry. I should get Mom to fix me something. A pork bun would sure hit the spot. No! Stop right there! <laughs> okay, this is such a weird tutorial. I don't understand why they put this right here. Um... These are known as villainous so. enemies with this red aura, they're known as villainous enemies. Uh, they're supposed to be double your level, sometimes they even triple. These guys make no sense to be put here right now because if you run into these guys in the overworld, they're gonna be around level 30. And obviously when you're around level 5 or 6, no way you're gonna have the power to fight them. Unless you're acting like cheats or something. Don't run into those guys in the overworld until you're done with this saga. I can't believe someone that bad actually exists. I might run into them again. And when I do, I'll be ready for them. Uh, I can't thank you enough. And, and, you know, you really are crazy strong, Gohan. Huh? You think so? What? You don't think so? You remind me of Goku when he won the world tournament. I'm like, Dad? Am I really that strong? Sure you are. And brave to boot. Like father, like son. I couldn't even handle those enemies. I'm totally useless. But you didn't run away, right? Yamcha is hard at work training. The least I can do is fix him a hot meal. Plus, Yamcha is always telling me... He can give 100% because I'm around. That's why I can't give any less myself. Everyone's working so hard. Look at the time. I'd better get back and start preparing. Thanks for the help, Gohan. See you around. Piccolo's one tough teacher, but I am getting stronger. Maybe I can keep at this a little longer. And what's good about this is now that we got Quar Soul Emblem, I believe like we Dad, can connect Quar to so Yamcha and they should and have a conversation. <laughs> Let's find out. If it weren't for Mr. Piccolo, I wouldn't be as strong as I am now. If I keep up my training, maybe I'll get even stronger. Actually, I, want to, I want to go here now, too. Upgrade some stuff in this little thing, and then we'll end off the episode. Never mind, I can't upgrade anything. Except you. Yeah, no. And then let's go to the community board. Actually, do I have any other abilities? No, I don't. I figured I did. Communities, community board... Um, okay, and we're going to place down Poir. Don't worry, Yamcha. At least you've got me on your side. W what do you mean, at least? Give me a break, would you? <laughs> Mm, 
I'm gonna give Yamcha some gifts. Upgrade him a little bit. Perfect. Give Master Roshi some gifts too. guys so that's gonna be it for this episode of dragon ball z kakarot if you did like this episode please just give it a like comment and subscribe to the channel and also follow me on twitter matthew j gray for daily updates on this game all right and with that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one take care everybody and have a wonderful day